downtown Los Angeles is where the Toronto Maple Leafs begin in 2024. Score! 3-0 the final as the Leafs win their first of 2024. You tell us. <laughs> I think it's a good day for us, a real good day for us to get him signed. We're excited to get him signed. A top player in what I believe just entering the prime of his career, so we're excited, but it's a good day for us. We've got a really good player here that's going to be here for, for eight more years, so that's, that's we're happy about. Tell us where we at. Before we get going, congratulations on your order. We always give it to us for eight more years. Hey, Willie, come here, big fella. Happy to have you for eight more. Eight more! That's so cool. Don't worry about having dinner. Where are we going to dinner again? Should we go to dinner? Obviously, we think very highly of him here, and all uh, he's got tremendous potential. We're seeing a young player that's uh, adjusting to the league. Everything that comes with being a first-year NHL player, first-year pro. Hey guys, welcome on. I have been here about two weeks or so. That's pretty fresh, pretty new. My brother got that as soon as I moved in for me. Just trying to make it as homey as possible. So this is the living room, dining room, it all kind of is one space. Kitchen over here in the back. I got my mattress topper that still hasn't expanded over two days, so I don't know how I'm gonna get that thing to get any bigger, but you know, I brought some of my old thing, my laptop, my guitar, yeah, that's my uh, little hobby I like to have outside of the rink. Not too good, so don't ask me to play. Just something to kind of take my mind off hockey and just do something outside the rink. Uh, guest bathroom in here and then uh, upstairs is where I take my nine hour naps. Of course, I didn't make my bed. <laughs> you guys were coming too and I didn't make it. I mean, it still like hasn't doesn't really feel like home, to be honest. I don't know, it just feels different to live on your own like this. This is the first time I'm living on my own like completely by myself with no one else kind of in the same place. So, um, still doesn't really feel like home. I think I, that's why I need to put up a little more pictures and just, uh, I don't know, more faces around here that you know, kind of reminds me of home. I'm getting used to it more and more, but I don't know, we'll see. That's why I want to get a fully furnished place because I didn't want to stay too permanent in one, one location. Whenever I need to, I can find something I might like a little bit more or something like that. Just gotta put in maps because I still don't really know my way around the city. I'm so not used to that too, driving in the city where you're stuck in traffic, you feel like you're never gonna get where you're going, like you're just sitting there for so long. Perfect. I'm excited for some breakfast. It's the blueprint, it's my epi. Hey Roper, how are you? 
Everyone's been super welcoming. It's a pretty, pretty close group. So it wasn't really hard to, you know, kind of fit in that way. You know, I think they kind of all took me under their wing. Making their first pick in the 2021 NHL draft, the Toronto Maple Leafs have selected Matthew Nyes. He was part of that Coyotes Junior program. There's a number of kids in the draft this year that have kind of come through that program. He's got great size. It's going to take some time. He's going to be a college player as well. Just a quick stick at the last second. Keeps that one out. Nice. Keeps it a one goal game. You know what, Matthew, when he came in last year around the playoffs, it was interesting because you, you get this. It's a kid, for lack of a better term, but this kid that comes in, you know, he's a, he looks like a phenomenal athlete, built, you know, and then you start to get to know him a little bit more and it's trying to figure out what he likes to do and what his routine is, because I feel like not just dictating things to do, I think it's, it's more important to see what a guy's, guys like to do and what they're used to. Observe and get to know them and then try to pick away at adding things that I think might help them. Just as soon as I signed, I think it was the first day, you know, he came up to me and introduced himself. And ever since then, you know, we've been talking on a daily basis on how I can get better and how I can just kind of manage my, manage my body. As I let you go, then we start increasing that amplitude as we move forward. He's actually helped me a lot this past summer. He's gotten me in touch with a lot of great trainers in my hometown that, you know, have helped me to continue to grow my game. I'm getting to meet Lou and getting to hear what he has to say and, and, you know, kind of taking notes from him. It's been huge for me. A lot of guys can, you know, learn from him for sure. He's one of the most diligent athletes that we have on the team right now. He comes in, he preps, he does his mobility, he, he lifts, he asks questions, which I think is important as well. We're always constantly working on little things, on little details. You know, it helps that he's been living with Johnny for quite a bit, so he kind of sees what his routine is and how important it is to actually just have a routine and be diligent with it. You know, I can't thank him enough. It's such a wonderful family, and I love those kids. I love my time there. You know, I still left a lot of my clothes and stuff there just so I have an excuse to go back there and get another meal or um, just to go see them. So I think I may just keep that stuff there so I keep, keep having an excuse to go over there. I think he's doing what he needs to do to, to grow as a, not only as a person, but an athlete as well. Oh! oh! Tarp's optional. The blue print. Getting Jack and Lou. Big old He's just a fun guy to have around. You know, obviously a good, good guy, and, and uh, you know demands a lot from us. You know, wants the best for us. It's nice to have that kind of character in our locker room and be able to have the support that that he gives us. Lou is still doing his one-on-one special, or yeah, what? yeah, we still got him. Right, I'm just breathing here. That's all I'm doing, just breathing. <laughs> uh, game days are are unique in the sense that uh, in that there's a lot of time I guess spent both in the morning and then the evenings. If I'm on the road, it uh, ranges from just prep, workouts for individual guys, mixing drinks, protein shakes, making sure everybody gets their uh, their pills, and vitamins, and, and whatnot during the game involves just working out the guys that are that are not playing as well as making sure everybody's got what they need in the locker room before they go out to the ice and then after. Practice days are different in the sense that we try to get a lot done in the gym. Typically uh, practice days are our are, are, are time to shine you know between Artie and I when we're at home and then on the road it's an opportunity for guys to come in and, and get some work in and sometimes the spaces aren't great but you have to use the imagination and, and come up with things that guys are not only willing to do and want to do, but it's beneficial for them throughout the week, throughout the trip. Start moving around a small circle. You can go clockwise and counterclockwise. Oh, have a game, baby. Let's go. It's always fun to go on the road with, with the guys and just go to new places. Obviously, it's my first year, so it's fun to go play at different arenas and, and in front of different crowds. Unreal. So yeah, I'm always excited to go on the road and you know, spend some time with the guys, whether it's at dinner or around the hotel. Come on, beauties, huh? Hey, hey, Callie. <laughs> Super Bowl is just a soccer game that we play before we step on the ice and just do it as a warm up. Something to just kind of get the boys going and, and get them loud and get warmed up a bit.
good opportunity to kind of move around, get the temperature going, get a sweat going. And the guys, the guys are competitive. It's actually pretty impressive how good of a soccer players a lot of these guys are. Last guy to touch it before it falls is out. If it's controversial, you, you know, do a rock, paper, scissors shoot. It gets pretty intense and heated. It's so easy to read you. It's like a There's ball. no chance. Like a There's no chance. Seven, ten. Yeah. What happens on a dead ball? A dead ball is, uh, I don't know, when the ball gets stuck in the air somewhere, uh, I don't know, then we get game restarts. The things that guys do to get the ball is actually pretty impressive, whether it's throwing a bottle or a shoe or making a ladder with bodies. Guys are serious about the game, so if there's no ball, there's no game. There's a lot of components to it that I think are important. It's not just a way for guys to get their temperature up, but it's also an opportunity for them to compete amongst themselves. And I think doing it before a game gets that, that blood boiling, you know, and uh, brings them together. Can I take this with you? When I came into the league, our team was probably the youngest, if not the second youngest team in the league. Whether it was Mo, Mitch, Austin, Willie, to see those guys grow up and not just become professionals in what they do, but also to become adults. Just happy to be here and get to know those guys and, and, and be part of it. Holy Mackinac, the big fellas got three! Literally anywhere we went, I've been excited to play it. You know, it's all new atmosphere, all, all new barns. So it was another fun road trip with the guys. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty electric atmosphere when you play in Western Canada and you play against some of our rivals. It was a really good time. For me personally, I think I've contributed and played well. And from a backhand right in front of the net, the Leafs jump out in front. It's been a challenge for me, but you know, I'm always excited to, to get to the rink and just compete and try to get better. It's been a fun year so far and I'm just really excited to see what we can do in the second half.